How's it going? Today, we're going to be talking about melodies. This was a question that was sent in. Do you think you can do a video on counter melodies or how people can layer like three melodies at a time? This is my biggest struggle. I understand a bit of theory, but yeah, thanks if you do. So let's get right into it. I made an example beat. So this is a Sebi type beat that I made specifically for this video. I feel like his songs really do this well. Here is just the melodies soloed out so you can hear it better. I think if you're struggling to layer melodies, you might be using multiple instances of the same type of MIDI pattern. There's multiple kinds of melodies that you can have. This one, for example, follows the bass, which I think is the first thing you should do if you're making a chord progression right out the bass line. And it does just like a repeated line on the top. Another pattern you could do is octaves. And also focus on fill lines. So that's kind of like stuff that leads into bar lines. You see this is divided into major bar lines. On every single bar line in this melody, I'm leading into it. So that's our starter main melody. And then to add on to that, we could do like a simple rhythm. So this one is just quarter notes. Bum, 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 bum. All of this is, is just picking out notes from the scale. I'm writing this in F minor or A flat major. You could also add in notes that are higher octaves or lower octaves. This is a high octave that fills into bar three. And then I have another MIDI pattern that's something completely different as well. This is a more portamento or glissando or pitch bend sort of idea. And then finally, I've got one in here that's a repeated note. Now this one can get a little repetitive, so I changed it up a bit. If I was gonna take one out of this whole thing, it might be this one, but here's what it is. Another thing you can do is give them all different timbres, textures, that sort of idea. This first one I turned into, this is from my Hyperfunk pack. I turned it into more of a pluck sound. Basically, all of these are different types of lead sounds, synth sounds. Then we've got like a detuned wide lead. And then more of like a, I don't know, like a cute sound, a vocal sample. So it's a different texture in there. And this last one is kind of like a computery organ sound. Finally, if it's still not fitting together, something to look at is space. This is kind of easy to see in this example. Everything has its own little pocket. This one, the pocket is kind of like this around each bar line. Here, just this one, just this one. And then this one can kind of fit in the background because it's a little repetitive and under in the mix. So if it's not fitting together, you might want to just mute a bunch of notes, cut out sections. Overlapping notes can cause uh, issues. That's what happened in the bass. I had both a 808 and a synth bass in there, and I just cut out whenever it overlapped, letting the 808 play. Finally, let's talk about mixing. I put on a ton of effects. I used Infiltrator, made a preset that I really liked, so I called it Add-on Melodies and I saved it. This is what it's like before and after. It's just adding a little bit of reverse comb filter delay and a tiny vocoder layer in there with re-trigger at the end of the phrase. Obviously get your levels right. Make sure you can hear each melody in the mix. Like you can point out each one when all of them are playing. You can do some creative stuff with panning. Like I had auto pan going back and forth. Just be careful on the delay and the reverb because that can really muddy it up. So yeah, that's my tips for if you want to have a song with a ton of melodies on there, have them all play at the same time without really overlapping. That's going to be it for this one. I hope Hope the video was helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.